and welcome to our review of, um, oh, oh, come on, it's a... Uh, 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 mm. I know this game doesn't look like much. In fact, I know it looks like a box of tablets offering relief from gas. Or offering your kids relief from gas. Or relief from gas for everyone at your party. Or possibly a box of tablets that will permanently empty all gas from your lungs and blood. Worse, the basic set of Anomia has this award in the corner from Mensa. Ugh. You mean to tell me that if there really is a society of the world's smartest people, they'd be happy with this font? But I'm telling you, if you were to let these games pass you by, you'd be missing out on one of the funniest games ever made that is so simple it can be enjoyed by anyone. In fact, Anomia gets the prestigious Shut Up and Sit Down recommends seal. Actually, can we get that over the Mensa seal? Lovely stuff. Anomia actually has the same structure as the knuckle-crushing dexterity classic Jungle Speed, except where that game messes with your reflexes and pattern recognition to trick you into making stupid mistakes, Anomia demolishes your ability to remember words. Let's set up the game. There. In Anomia, three to six players sit in a circle and take turns flipping cards off a central stack, waiting for two symbols to match. <gasps> and when those symbols do match, those two players then have a face-off. Players in a face-off have to immediately name an example of the thing on the other person's card. So this player has to name an astronaut, that player has to name a cookie brand. Cookie brand, oh, man. Maryland! The person who named an example of the thing the fastest takes the other player's card as one point, ching, and then play continues with whoever was next in the circle continuing to flip symbols till you get another face off. Hot beverage beach, name a beach. Bonsai beach. Is that a, that's, it's Bondi, isn't it? That's staying in the review. <laughs> Could have named, went to check the script there. Could have named the beach outside my house. Could have named Brighton beach, but I said Bonsai beach. That. What, a, what, a, what an organic moment showing exactly how this game works. Anomia is not a game about racing to say words. It's a game about failing to say words. The fact that this is a speed game means everybody is always jittery and highly strong and sluggish with adrenaline. Then the game makes you stare at these colored symbols to see when you have to have a face off, which means nobody ever arrives at the word game ready for it. Players are instead launched into the word game like toddlers flung into a swimming pool by some kind of toddler flinging machine. Do you imagine what it feels like to play Anobia? Imagine the following example. This is you, and this is your brain, and this is the moment a face-off begins. Address, it's a face-off. You can do this, you know loads of addresses. Just say an address, any address, come on. Come on, baby, address, 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 address. Ah, oh. oh, you really screwed that up, it was, it was name, name and address, not say address. Don't, what are you looking at me like that for? Displays of rank incompetence happen all the time in Anomia and really they're what you play this game for. You play this game to watch your friend who's told to name a dog breed shout, Scooby-Doo. You play this game to watch your friends lose face-offs they didn't even realize they were in. They'll be talking or looking or thinking about something else and someone around the table will yell, Sesame Seed Bagel, and take their card and they will have real sadness in their face. Real hilarious sadness. Anomia maybe isn't the hardest I've laughed playing a board game. That honor belongs to either Fun Employed or playing one of the secret fourth rounds of monikers where you have to do charades under a bedsheet. But Anomia is probably the game in my collection that gets people laughing the hardest, the fastest. And while I'm not sure if that sentence is grammatically correct, it's nonetheless a huge achievement for a little game. On top of this rock solid foundation, Anomia just has a couple of extra twists to keep it from getting samey. And the first is wild cards, which have two symbols, but don't have a word. So when you draw a wild card, you are twice as likely to match until you cover that card up with something else. But if you do match, then you both have to say what's on the other person's card. There are also multi-person face-offs. Look here, I've got a wild card that matches two people. There's gonna be a lot of yelling going on, a lot of cards being claimed, and this could well lead to a face-off cascade. You see, look, it's, imagine I won this face-off by naming a jazz musician such as, shut up. You played saxophone for the, shut up. 
but then in taking a card, rather than getting back into the flow you're used to of, ah, oh, we had a big exciting face-off, now let's go back to flipping cards. Sometimes you take that card revealing another face-off, which immediately happens. And you get these lovely pregnant moments where sometimes the players who aren't in that face-off notice it and are just sat there waiting for everyone else to stop laughing and realize they're still playing the game. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's just good fun. So, some of you might be thinking that maybe your life does have a hole that could be filled by a neat little box that gets everybody laughing faster than the speed of thought. But which Anomia should you get? Very much like picking a starter Pokemon this decision in that you can't go wrong. Mostly. Looking at you, Anomia Kids, very much the Chikorita of this set. Anomia Kids asks you not to name something from a category, but say a word starting with the same sound as the picture. So if there's a picture of a pencil, you might say pepper, or for a picture of a hat, you might say hello. And this is a small change, but one that nonetheless drains about half of the comedy out of the game, all in the service of making kids comfortable. But there are cheaper ways to make kids comfortable, such as inserting your progeny into the shut up and sit down child comfort sack. Patent pending, retailing at just £10, and for that you get all of these chloroform soaked rags completely free. Uh, perfect for kids, probably, maybe, we're not sure, nobody on our team has kids. So for most people the choice will be between base Anomia or Anomia Party, which offers three times the cards at less than twice the price. But this is a pretty easy decision because it's just a case of asking how often you're going to play Anomia. For me, with my nauseatingly large game collection, oh gosh, don't look at it. If you have to look at it, please don't think about how even if I stopped buying new board games today, I still wouldn't have enough time to explore all the games I have. Ah, the existential dread of the collector. Anyway, for someone like me, I am very unlikely to bust the Anomia out more than, I don't know, two or three times a year, at which point I will have absolutely forgotten all of the cards it comes with. Goodness me, trying to remember all the cards in this, having not played it in a while, would be like trying to remember the exact order of words on a cereal box I read in my childhood. Mostly my childhood memories are just me being put in sacks. Lovely sacks. However, if your party games get a ton of play till the cards are worn out, Anomia Party Edition is for you. Finally, there's Anomia X, and I'm gonna pop a button on my shirt because things are getting sexy. Of course, I'm not actually wearing a shirt. Feel free to pop a button on your own shirt or pop any button on a consenting human near you. So, Anomia X is the adult party game version of Anomia, but unlike a lot of adult board games, this is not some minefield of a thing that at any point threatens to blow up your evening by revealing a joke that punches down at people on the basis of gender or race or sexual orientation or even class simultaneously reinforcing this idea that games are a straight white male pursuit while also forcing anybody who is offended by a card to make the horrible decision of either shutting up and bottling that in or sharing it with the table and making everybody else uncomfortable. And if you disagree with that interpretation of adult board games, then by all means do email in with your complaint to our address mail at cardsagainsthumanity.com. Instead, Anomia X offers adult cards that are sometimes raunchy yet playful, or sometimes just require a bit of thought, or are just opinions, or demand players offer up answers that can't help but be punchlines. It's interesting, honestly. Anomia X has quite wisely opted to market itself as Anomia but for grown-ups, but actually it's got all kinds of experiments. When I have to name a guilty pleasure and you have to name a criminal's accessory at the same time, Anomia X isn't always fair, but I love how all of these cards pull players in different ways. If Anomia Base and Party are like just a white-hot giggle furnace, which is really the same incredibly solid 10 seconds of game over and over and over again, Anomia X is more unfair, it's more thought-provoking. I don't know if I like it more. If I was going to keep one, I would keep the game that does what it does best. Anomia X offers something that is nonetheless surprising, thought-provoking, it's not necessarily a game for adults, but it's the game for adult dinner parties, I might say. Whereas Anomia is the game for, well, it's the game for if you want to play a game. Mm. So that's Anomia, everybody. If you, oh, what stinks?